guys. Where is Kevin today? I'm in China. Not China, China. When I first heard China, I thought it was China. It's actually Thailand, China. It's about an hour and a half from my house north up the main highway. And there's there's a they're showing DJI that I go to in Rancid or um, come up here to fly the agriculture drone for a big farming community. And there's loads of people here. Just had some food. I want to show you this food. It's really spicy. So this one here, I just this one I just had. Very nice. And I had some of that. This one here is meat and a the vegetable spelt spelt with the F at the beginning and the K at the end. Or it's pronounced that way. So I'm thinking, really? But the the other food here is really tasty. A little bit spicy, but tasty. So I drove up about an hour and a half north of where I live. I got a map reference, so I found, f followed it in Google to get here. Met up with a guy who's actually a representative of the company that imports DJI to the company and the shop that I go to are here too, three people from the shop. The the guy who fixes them and two of the salespeople. So I come up to meet them and um, they've got the, uh, I don't know what it's called, DJI farm sprayer or something. We're just going to have a look at it. So that handle there is the battery where it slides in underneath the, the control unit, see it? So you're just going to put some water in to spray. So this thing fully loaded, it holds 10 liters of fluids plus the, plus the battery plus the drone is 22 kilos. sand in the shade it's a little bit warm out in that sunshine so my fascination with it is not to get one for myself I'm just as interested in the technology of anything like that but um, it can it can uh, spray six rye in 15 minutes and the technology I'm thinking well that's fairly cool but what about if you have a field way off in the distance and every time you want to spray but it, apparently what it does is the first time you have to actually walk out and around and uh, put the coordinates in of the edges of the field and then you set it off to fly and when the when the um, tanks empty it stops its process and then just goes home back to where you're standing and then you pour the, the uh, liquid back in and tell it to go again and it just that's how it works so after the first time, you just say go, change the battery, go, change the battery, check, fill it up, and go. So, I don't know, you know, you, I guess you need a battery for each six rye. Very interesting. Okay, these are the guy, local guys who are uh, farmers. I just asked them a question. Have they ever carried the big backpack and sprayed the fields with them? And they all said yes. So then I said, okay. What do you think of this new technology where you can just fly the drone? And they said, oh, much better. You can sit down and work. <laughs> this is a charging station you get with it. Here's a look, at, look at this battery. 12,000 milliamps. And it's 44.4 uh, .4 volts. 44.4 .4 volts. 1,200 milliamps. And it lasts for 15 minutes. Amazing, isn't it? So we've got two there. And it will charge up to six, see? Three on this side, and three on this side. 
crazy big, huh? You can hear it's got a cooling system in it. I'm standing over here a little bit far away because it creates a lot of dust with this dry soil. And it's a little hard to see because of where the sun is too. I hope you can see it. I hope you can see it. The sun's really bright and it's dusty. So I was just talking to the guy who's... Um, there's a guy here who represents a company that actually imports the, the drone into Thailand. And there's a guy over here this guy in the white shirt over here who asked them to come up and show this to this area and over here they're they're growing all kinds of different things behind or all around okay so I'm thinking to myself is this cost effective you know you think how much it costs well he had a, a case study you know I asked a few questions and he said let me tell you a story about the case study and the case study was a teacher bought one he spent 900,000 baht for each battery cost um, 10,700 baht. And he bought 20 batteries plus a load of spares and the drone. And what he did is he had 800 rye to take care of. And he had so much of his own and there's farmers all around who hired him to do it. So in that case, because I'm thinking the local guys would use the local people they've known since school. So would they actually use something like this? And the teacher with his property went and talked to all the local farmers and they all said yes. So he spent 900,000 baht, bought the whole setup, and now he takes care of spraying for 800 rye. So, and the, the uh, other advantage of this one is when you, um, when you spray, if it's at chest height or waist height, Waist height is like is um, for a Thai person. Waist height for rice. Okay, you can walk and spray at waist level. But if you start having things like sunflower seeds, corn, sugar cane, things like that, and you have to spray, it's a lot taller than the average Thai person. Taller than me too, right? So this is where this comes in. It can fly over top of all that. So you put the coordinates in of each. Um, corner of the field and to say go and it knows it, when it runs out of uh, liquid it knows where it is it comes back to home you change the battery put the liquid in and off it goes again simple as that and the charging hub which I've already showed you that's a six charging hub you can also buy an eight charging hub 44.4 volts 12,000 milliamps Impressive, very impressive. So if you're, if you have a um, sunflower crop, which they grow a lot here in Thailand, and um, you can run over the top of that and not damage the plant. And the good thing is the spray comes out; it's uh, atomized, but the props are pushing the air down, which causes it to circulate even better. Cool idea. So I guess you know if the teacher did it with his local people, then the local culture will accept the new technology. I. Just, just a thought, just a thought. What do you think? Got the big one here, and you got a little one up here watching it. See a little one watching it? Well, a little one, Mavic. He's spraying now, see it? So you can see here there's all different bags full of dirt and they made like these bamboo houses and they're going to plant vegetables in here. So all this area they're turning into agriculture. That's why they're wanting to look at the drone. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to include a uh, contact details for any farmers in Thailand who may be watching this right here. So that's the shop where I um, bought mine from. 
and I get my parts and I, now they have a new shop they have a actually have a workshop and uh, they got all the guys were here they remember me so kind of cool nice people but I really enjoyed but it's hot so I just need I want to get in the car and start heading back so I hope you enjoyed that the, for me it's just I wanted to see the drone fly I wanted to see how it operated that's all so I drove one and a half hours north to see it I hope you enjoyed that so I'm gonna sign off and say good night all the best guys buckets of blessings rivers of peace joy and kindness look after yourselves see you in the morning all the best guys <laughs>